a 71-year-old security guard attacked in broad daylight, all because of a mask. The security company says they're seeing similar cases like this more often. Christy Tomashiro has a story that's new at 9. The 71-year-old security guard was helping guests here at the Waikiki Shell COVID testing site Wednesday afternoon when police say a man refused to put on a mask and punched him in the head. According to police, the 27-year-old man became angry when he was asked to put a mask on and show a QR code. He then took out that frustration on the guard while being escorted off property. The guard works for a company called Private Security Group. We were so surprised uh, and empathetic immediately to not just our kupuna, but it also made us realize how, you know, sensitive the issue is, how important it is for us to look out for our kupuna. The suspect was arrested for second degree assault because the security guard is over the age of 60. It's not that it's, you know, something that we sometimes don't expect. It's a really emotional time. It's very charged. It's so frustrating when people are asked, put your mask on and we have to be reminding people, you know, and they feel upset and uncomfortable and it's just a scary time. To avoid similar situations, the company will be handing out masks at testing sites moving forward. Nomi Health, which runs the testing site, is asking guests to show aloha to workers. Make sure we remind everyone, please live aloha. Let's take care of each other and do what we got to do, especially, you know, on behalf of all of us at Private Security Group, but for everybody else on in our islands, you know, we're just sharing the aloha. We got to do what we got to do and work together. As far as the guard, we're told he's in good spirits and is ready to get back to work. He is doing okay. He is actually doing something great today. I think they're a Kalua pig and doing some things and he's okay. The suspect remains in custody and police say the investigation is ongoing. Chrissy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.